So just a few hours ago, Linus just put out this video about testing the NZXT H510 Flow versus the standard case, which he found out that, you know, adding more fans actually made the graphics card hotter, but this video is actually completely wrong. His title is everything you know is wrong, but then I want to turn it around that everything shown in this video is completely wrong as well. And there's good reason for me to say this. I'm just not trying to create drama or something with Linus. It's just because his video is actually wrong. The only correct answer to this is actually found in Gamers Nexus review of the NZXT cases. But I'll get to that in a minute. So basically Linus' conclusion is that Adding more fans onto these cases actually makes the graphics card run hotter. And the whole reason for that, you know, according to him, is because of air turbulence or something that makes the air, you know, not circulate around the graphics card. But that is actually completely wrong. Because you can actually see it in his own video, the real reason why the graphics card gets hotter. So let's get right into it. So in the first part of the video, he just uses Furmark, which I actually don't agree to using because modern graphics cards just kind of max out the power limit when you use Furmark and it is not a good indicator of real world usage, but I guess it can show, you know, maximum thermal output, which is useful for this video. So first off, he shows the stock fans, which is, you know, right under 80 degrees on the graphics card, which is, by the way, an MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio or actually a Supreme X. And... After he added some fans, he showed that the temperatures actually rose to above 80 degrees. And he was quite confused by this. He was saying like, that, that is very weird and there's something wrong with it, but our fans are working fine. And yes, sure. There's actually a very good reason for this. And he actually switched to a gaming workload, which is, you know, much more reasonable. But honestly, if it is actually hotter in firmware, it doesn't matter if you're running a game or firmware, it is just going to be hotter anyways when you add more fans and there's a very good reason for this so so for the gaming temperatures he showed using the stock fans which is just two exhaust fans on these NZXT cases which means the cases are at negative pressure it's only at 75 degrees with the flow mesh panel and without the mesh panel it's at 82 degrees for the graphics card and with the Noctuas installed he showed that the GPU actually rose in temperature both in the mesh and non-mesh panel which is again a very you know it's a very weird result that you would not actually expect out of adding more fans to your case, but there's actually a very good reason this happens on this specific NZXT case. So here, when Linus first tested the case out with the smoke machine without the front fans, you can see that there's a very clear area of, you know, lack of smoke around the graphics card, which you can see over here. There's just no smoke at all because most of the airflow from the front of the case comes from the CPU coolers, negative air pressure in front of the fans, sucking air from the front, as well as the case having a net negative air pressure from the one rear exhaust fan. And this helps the graphics card actually pull air from the rear PCIe slots, as well as, you know, through the vents on the uh, bottom of the case as well. Just a very small amount, but most of it is from the rear PCIe slots. And this means that the graphics card is actually getting the freshest air possible from outside the case, which is the coldest air possible, instead of getting hot air from inside the case. So this is in contrast to when Linus added more fans to the front of the case, which you can see here, the front Noctua fan actually does blow a lot of intake air, but because the fan is positioned like only halfway of the fan is actually blowing air into the graphics card, but on the other hand, the fan is reducing the negative air pressure inside the case. So what actually happens is that the hot air from inside the case starts to fill up the area on the intake area of the graphics card here. Because now you can see there isn't any clear space near the uh, fans on the graphics card because it can't pull cold air from outside through the PCIe slot brackets anymore. And therefore it's actually just recirculating hot air from inside the case. This is not because of uh, turbulence or something that Linus is trying to show here. That is just that doesn't make sense because there's always going to be turbulence inside a case especially when you put lots of fans that's blowing in all kinds of different directions it does not matter it does not affect temperatures there's always turbulence i'm not an aero expert so i'm not sure the correct terms for this type of turbulence but again this does not matter and it's not the whole reason why the graphics card is getting hotter the whole reason is again now when you put two fans on the case you can see here that the front fans push in a massive amount of airflow from the front. There's actually a lot of intake flow now, but 
Now you can see that the problem is that because there is so much intake flown from the front and Linus only puts one rear exhaust fan because you know you can't fit a second exhaust fan, the case is actually net positive air pressure, which means that the front fans is blowing air mostly through the CPU area and then it has to roll back down onto the graphics card area here because it can't exhaust out the top. And because of the net positive air pressure in the case, the graphics card can't pull air from outside through the PCA brackets anymore. And you can see that the intake area of the graphics card is now filled completely with smoke, which means that the graphics card is now just fully recirculating hot air from inside the case into its fans, which is why it's getting hotter and hotter. You can, you can literally see it in Linus's video where the smoke is just rolling from the top of the case area onto the graphics card intake fans over here. You can see it just rolling into it like that. And that is the whole reason why the graphics cards get hotter. And to be clear, this is not because of, you know, NZXT is making a terrible case. This is just the fact for most cases these days, especially ones with, you know, just front fans and a bottom power supply cover. It is actually a very flawed design, especially with today's graphics card getting bigger and bigger and taking up more space and trying to intake air from the bottom of the case. So, yeah, the actual problem is the, you know, fundamental case design that we've been using for decades at this point, which positions the power supply below the graphics card with the, you know, more recently with an actual power supply shroud, which is not actually going to help things at all. Because previously you can actually put fans on the bottom side of the front here, which will help push air from the front into the graphics card even more, but that you know, that doesn't exist anymore because now you have a power supply shroud, so the fans are positioned this way, and which means that it's only pretty much like half of the front fans, you know, bottom fan, that's only pushing air into the graphics card area, and the graphics card is now having, you know, triple fans these days, so half of a 120mm fan is not going to be enough to feed all three fans of the graphics card, and what ends up happening is just the graphics card is just going to start recirculating hot air from inside the case, because, you know, there's net positive and can't pull air from the rear side via the negative pressure from its own fans. And this brings me to another point, which is that PC cases are actually pretty flawed because most of them have the power supplies situated on the bottom right below the graphics card, just like on that NZXT case. And that's actually really bad for GPU terminals because that's right where the graphics card is supposed to be intaking air. And instead it's being covered by a power supply basement for looks. The actual you know, best configuration right now is actually the Fractal Torrent case, which was recalled and it's kind of still difficult to find right now. But this case has the power supply on the top of the case, which is actually the best placement for it, even though it looks like an old design where you have the power supply on the top, but it's actually the best possible place to put the power supply because for the CPU, you can use the CPU cooler, which is, you know, has a huge heatsink and it's just going to blow air from the front to the back, which is not covered by the power supply. Or you can just use a large uh, CPU water cooler at the front. The graphics card itself now then gets fresh air from the bottom fans, which you know can be configured as intake and will blow fresh cold air from outside straight onto the graphics card's fans, right where its intake area is. So this would actually be the best possible configuration for airflow. And lots of reviews actually do show that this case performs very well for cooling in terms of the graphics card as well. Just like again on Gamers Nexus case videos, which are much more thorough, in my opinion, than most other case reviewers. So I would suggest you to check them out if you're interested. So coming back to Linus's video, again, the fundamental problem is the case design, having no bottom intake for the graphics card, which means that adding front fans does not help. It's just gonna make the hot air recirculate into the graphics card because it can't pull cold air by itself through the rear PCA slots. What would actually help the graphics card temperatures is if you put the front fans as exhaust because that would make the case really negative pressure uh, oriented and it would actually help pull cold air from the rear of the case in the PCA slots straight into the graphics card as well as through the small vents on the bottom of the case straight onto the graphics card. Or again, you could just use a case that is not designed for an older component because you know with newer graphics cards again the ideal case would be having an intake right in front of the graphics cards intake fans instead of trying to push air onto the fans from just half of a front 120 millimeter fan like on this nzxt case here over here and also on lots of uh, recent cases as well which is quite problematic because i really think we just need a fundamental shift in case design more towards uh, fractal designs torrent case which is 
really successful in terms of case cooling for the graphics card, especially, especially, especially now we're seeing over 300 watts of graphics cards being uh, the norm here with the 3080 and 3090s. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you do enjoy it, and I hope you learned something from this video. And if you agree with me, maybe comment down below, or if you don't agree with me, comment down below why I'm wrong, or maybe even someone else could respond to me with another video explaining why I'm wrong in my analysis, but this is just my opinion, and this is how I observed it, and why I think Linus's video is completely wrong. But yeah, thanks for watching.